It's been a while since I have been face to face with you, but today I'm doing something special and it is fun and different and scrapbooky slash stampy. So I'm planning to share it with you. I was invited to be the make and take person for the rabbit hole designs for the stamp and scrapbook expo in Sacramento, California at Cal Expo. So I'm here now, I'm sitting in my car cause I'm just waiting for Marianne, who's the owner of the rabbit hole designs. And um, she has like my passes and stuff for me to get in. So I live about an hour plus from Cal Expo, which is where the event is at. Sorry, the camera's kind of shaky. I don't have like a tripod. Um, and so I, I got here early, which I'm so proud of myself for because um, with traffic and everything, you never know what it's gonna be like. So I'm here 15 minutes early, which makes me super happy. And it was a little bit funky finding my parking and like figuring out how to get in um, to the parking area because this place is huge. This is where they hold the California State Fair every year. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a really big place and there's multiple different parking lots that come off mul multiple different areas. So anyway, I digress. Um, I'm happy I found it. I'm sitting here waiting for her now. And I just thought I would check in and say hello and tell you what today's video is going to be. I'm going to show you around the scrapbook expo or it's, it's actually called the stamp and scrapbook expo. And I just keep calling it the scrapbook expo. <laughs> um, it has probably been, I would say nine years since I attended this event. I have pictures of myself with Macy coming to, my daughter, coming to this event when she was pretty little and she still was super into scrapbooking and card making and all the things. And I have pictures of myself with some friends like Gina Lindsay. Hi, Gina. I hope to see her today. She might come. Miss Deborah's coming today, so I know I'll see her. There's been a couple other people that reached out and said they were coming. Um, after I posted on social media that I was going to be here and doing the make and take. So yeah, I plan to video and show you as much as I can while I'm there. I am here to work, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have to video, but I am going to try to sneak some in and show you around. So that's it. It's kind of a fun, different thing to be doing. Um, I've never run a make and take at a booth, so it'll be fun to do that. And I'm excited to meet Marianne in person and Dory, who's our design team uh, coordinator, not creator. And yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So I'll let you know, I'll be checking in with you. So here is my station for the day. I'm gonna be running the make and take right in that chair and there's three make and take chairs so people can come and sit and do a make and take and use some fun products and then this is the rabbit hole booth there's tons of displays some of those cards are probably mine and then this is the rabbit hole booth with all their fun products they even have precision glue presses I predict these will sell out today um, Maybe not, but I, I think they will. Let's see, can I find any of my goodies? Oh, there I am. There's some of my goodies on the wall. Cute, yay, and there's one, the very best. That's fun. It's always fun to see your stuff on a wall. She's got these cool grab bags for $49.99 and there's three winning tickets throughout them. And if you get one that has the winning ticket in it, then you get your entire purchase today for free. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, anyway, so this is my little spot where I'm gonna teach. Okay friends, I did not get very much footage of the scrapbook stamp scrapbook expo because I worked and was busy the entire time. Like from the time I got there to the time I left, I was busy. <laughs> So the little bit of footage you saw before this is all I got, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got while I was there. A couple of these things I purchased, 
And then some of them were gifted to me. So we'll go through that. So let's start with, and then I do have two other hauls to show you. So I actually have a lot of stuff to show you. So I purchased these super cute zipper bags. I just thought they were adorable. Card making is my superpower. So I got two of those and one of these. And I don't really know what I'm gonna even use them for. I don't know if I'm gonna use them as gifts. I'll probably keep one. I'm gonna probably keep this one. Card making is my superpower because let's face it, that's what I do for a living. So um, I'll probably keep that one, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other ones. I just thought I would show them to you. I thought they were really cute. And then um, I purchased a 12 by 12 paper pack from Photo Play, and I actually, I'm gonna zoom out. I actually ended up giving that to, well, I got it specifically for my friend Katina because she recently helped me with some um, planning and organizing for some future stuff for the Creative Vault. So stay tuned for that. It's exciting, the stuff that's gonna be coming. Okay, and then as you know, I was volunteering for the Rabbit Hole Designs um, design team, or not design team, uh, booth. I was do, I was running their make and take, and I will pop photos up too. There's photos over on my blog, so you can check it out there. And I'm gonna try to link to all the products that I can today over on my blog. So if you see something you're interested in, then go to my blog. The link is below the video in the description. I've noticed that several people struggle to to know how to look at the links in the description. So when you when you tap below this video like if you're holding your phone up and down this way let me show you i'm going to show you how to do it because i have a lot of people say like they don't understand how to get to my link so first of all you have to be on youtube you can't not be on youtube to see this to do this so if you're getting an email that has my video in it and you're watching my video on my blog or an email you just have to click into youtube so when you go to youtube you let's say you're watching a video so i was just watching this video from acre homestead which is one of my favorite um channels so here you can see the title of the video and if you click this little button right here that says more it brings up this description box. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna try to make it focus. Okay, so it brings up the description box. And then you see right here where it says more again. If I click more, it then brings up everything, all her links in the description box below. Does that make sense? And then you can click on any of these links. So for me on mine, let me bring up one of my videos. We'll just do the post-it note holder one that I just did. So here's the name of it. I'm going to click more. It's going to go into my description. Oh, weird. Link hidden. It's a broken link. Anyways, um, right here it says measurements and supplies. That's the one you always want to look for on my videos is the measurements and supplies. If you click that, it'll ask you to open it. And then you can go right to my blog. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see here's my supply list. So all of that being said, I just found out there is something broken on my website. So I'm trying to get it fixed, but I use two different things to link to stuff. So we'll use this one as an example. Um, when I go here, oh, it's there. <gasps> It must have been fixed. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. Okay, so for some reason, these were not showing up. Only the supply list from Stampin' Up, but not my other supply list. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of links here. Not all of these um, are affiliates. So like Concord and Ninth. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I don't make any money off of those. But I still link the product so that you're familiar with what I'm using. Okay, all right, moving on. So at the rabbit hole designs, um, I was able to pick out some gifts. She gave me gifts because I wanted some new fun stuff to play with. So we've got this super cute, this is called, where's the name of it? Right here, Bunny Christmas. It's got Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Peace on Earth, Jolly Holly Days to you and yours. May the gifts of love, peace and happiness be yours this Christmas. There's no place like home for the holidays. 
and then it's got a happy new year to you and a little ampersand and then there's all these bunny rabbits with a tree a bunny pulling a sleigh of gifts a bunny on top of gifts really really cute so anyway i'm gonna turn on some lights i think it's too dark in here i hope this helps okay so i got this and then these are the dies that go with it so i got the dies and then I got a Clarence stamp set. This is Clarence Christmas. Clarence is the little squirrel that my friend Lydia Fiedler um, feeds and Clarence turned out to be a girl. There's a whole story there. Anyways, and then there's dies for that. And then I got some of the retro Christmas paper. So I thought we would take a quick look at this. Look how beautiful. I love okay so this is one-sided paper I'm not used to that Stampin Ups is two-sided double-sided but it's beautiful so then I guess you don't have the dilemma oh that's pretty kind of cool because you're kind of getting two different looks so I guess then you don't have the dilemma of trying to figure out which side to use right because <laughs> there's only one side really pretty Oh, this is pretty. It's very traditional Christmas colors. This is nice. Very nice. Okay. I think she sold out of this. So I'm not even going to link it because I'm pretty sure she sold out. And this was her last pack. But I think it's really pretty. Okay. So that's what I got from Rabbit Hole. And then something I'm really excited about is there is a company by the name of Pear Blossom Press. I got to meet the owner of this company. She's actually friends with the owner of Rabbit Hole. And one of the things that I'm loving about this new journey I'm on is that I can meet the owners and creators of these companies and they're super small. They're trying to get going, um, building a big following and they're super talented. And like these people are both based in California and I live in California. So it means a little something to me, right? That they're based in California. So both Rabbit Hole Designs and Amanda from Pear Blossom are in California, Riverside. She actually made, came up with this foam tape. So this is double thick foam tape. This foam tape just take, okay. Everybody take a breath. <laughs> I am like freaking out. Okay, so it's double sided foam tape. And it is repositionable for 30 minutes. What? And it works because I made a card. I'm going to show it to you. This is all, well, no, not all. Some of this, okay, all of this is from Pear Blossom. So here's her business card. Okay, so she makes these light up things that light up your birthday card or your birthday cards your cards so they're they come with the little battery i'm going to show you i'm going to show you but i'm super excited okay so then um my favorite things she has these for sale in her booth these are little like pouches to make shaker cards but then look she also sells these little candle flame okay i'm getting ahead of myself let me explain okay so here let me show you the card this was her make and take at her booth. And when you push here, are you ready for this? Ah! Oh my God. I just want to push it all day long. <gasps> over and over and over and over. <gasps> she had so many cool samples, you guys. Like tons of cool samples. And I'm just kicking myself in the butt that I didn't take a video of all the cool samples. So check out her website. I'm going to link to it over on my blog. So remember the link I just showed you how to get to the measurements and supply link, go to my blog. If that's too confusing, just go to lovinstampin.com. L-U-V-I-N. I'll put it here on the screen. But look, so it, I was always very intimidated by these because this is not the first time I've seen these light up cards, but I did this make and take in like two minutes. It's so simple. And then look, she has these really cool little flame pieces that can go right over the top of that so that it looks like a candle. It's amazing. Then these are the easy lights. So there's some, okay, so this one is a halo 
and she included even more lights in the center so it's not like wasted space so this makes like a globe i you're gonna, just gonna have to see it you'll see and then this one has like multiple lights so you could have like three little light ups so there's little teeny tiny lights at the end of these wires and then these ones are the like super simple these are called there's a name for them these are the one lights these are the easy lights these are the halo light combo so all of this stuff was such a blessing she gifted these items to me so that i could show them to you and i am going to make cards with these in fact miss marianne from the rabbit hole gave me an idea for making with one of her stamp sets so we'll do that but this foam tape off the charts amazing so i used it i was able to like peel it back up no problem and um, i'm getting an earthquake alert on my phone okay i didn't feel anything i don't know if that means it's still coming <laughs> That might be the scariest thing. I'm like recording a video with you guys and an earthquake. Look, at, I've never had this happen. Look at on my phone. That's really scary. Okay, I'm just gonna keep recording. And if we have an earthquake together. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> now my sister's calling me. She's probably panicking. Wow. That's an exciting video, guys. Good grief. Okay, so I talked to sister. We Googled it. There was an earthquake uh, near San Francisco, 4.6 magnitude. We did not feel it where we are. We figured out that is what the alert was for. So we must have been just within the radius of where they send the alert. We've never gotten one of those. That's the first for us. So anyway, all is good. We're safe. Hopefully anybody that lives in the Bay is good. Um, they're kind of more prepared for it there than we are here. I'm like coming down off the adrenaline now. So let's get back to this. <laughs> so if you want to grab this foam tape, these lights, I will be doing a video on this. Don't you worry. So that you can see how easy it is to make these cards because I thought it was way harder than it is. So anyway, this was a gift from Amanda. Thank you so much, Amanda. Beautiful products. And I cannot wait to make my card. Now, H-A-I Supply. I also got to meet Victor, the owner of H-A-I Supply. And he makes all of these fabulous little um, sequins, shaker bits, all these things. And he lives near me, guys. He lives like 45 minutes from me. And so I was so excited to meet him and get to know him. And he told me I could even order custom shaker bits and different pieces because I have something really big coming and I'm not quite ready to tell you about it yet, but I am excited about it. So um, I am going to be sharing that in the future, but until then, I can't wait to use these. I think they're so cute and Victor even had these bags custom made. These are his design bags. So I think that that's pretty cool too. The way they open is they have like a little zipper um not zipper but what do you call this closure what is that called <sighs> i don't know anyway and then he had this thing if you bought a certain amount you got like this humongous bag from his glitter garden um is that what he called it anyways it's basically anything and everything that he has had or made and it just goes in this big old bin and he scoops it out and gives it to you or you could buy a pack for five bucks but he gave this to me. So I'm going to be able to sit and pick through these and see if there's like designs in here I really love and stuff like that. So anyway, that is from Victor. Thank you, Victor. I did purchase these, um, but I just thought they were so beautiful. Okay, so that was from Pear Blossom and HAI and Rabbit Hole. And then I do have a couple of hauls. So Stampin' Up! had a free shipping day and um or actually it was three days of free shipping and i'm pretty sure yeah what's in this box is pretty boring <laughs> it's nothing exciting but i did get some embellishments 
And then I got, which I didn't think I ordered embellishments, but apparently I did. And there's no packing slip in here. They quit giving packing slips. So now you just get them an email. But anyway, I got, you know what? I, re, I do remember I did order these because I knew I need them for my team. So um, I just got a whole bunch of thick, basic white cardstock. They were recently out of white cardstock. And so I restocked on that. And then I got some embellishments for my team members for gifts. And that's all that was in that box. Nothing too exciting. And then I placed an order with Altenew. After taking their cozy comfort retreat, I decided to place an order with them and grab a few of their products and just see, cause I already liked what I got. And I really wanted to see what their ink was like. So they had a sell on their ink and I decided to grab, what do we got here? How do we, how do we get into this? Oh, I see, you just pull that off, okay. Ooh, so pretty, okay. So they came out with fresh dye ink and it's in these round containers, which is interesting. Um, Let's see, Project Inspiration. Well, that's kind of cool. So this is a class that they're gonna be having. Save the date. Really cute. Okay. Interesting, okay. And then what is this? 5% off my next order. Cool. Oh yeah, I really, okay, so I saw these. Jennifer McGuire used these. And I'm a sucker for a bag, you all know that. A bag, a box, a tote, I'm a sucker. So these are large storage pouches. Oh, interesting, they are much heavier duty, thicker than I expected. Okay, so they open like this. Oh wow, oh wow, I love these, okay. So the way, what Jennifer used them for was like individual cards, die cuts, stuff like that. So I got large pouches and a pack of medium pouches. So those are cool. I got the Altenew scoreboard because I have Stampin' Up! scoreboard, but it's big, which is great for like boxes and stuff. But for cards, I think... I was wanting something smaller that I could try. And I know there's that little one called like the score buddy or score pal and it's small, but I think it's ugly. <laughs> and I thought this one was really pretty. So I got this one. Um, let's see, how do I get into this? I really don't wanna, oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so it has just this little score tool at the end and it's small and compact for card making. I love that, really simple. Okay, here's all the inks, I, let's do the inks in a minute. So I got foam tape, instant dimension foam tape. So this is a gigantic roll of foam tape and I had got that Pear Blossom Press foam tape but it is, twice as thick as this. So I'm gonna save the Pear Blossom foam tape for when I'm making those specific cards with the lights because it's made for that. But I really was, I was out of like foam tape and I do have Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, which I do love. I love these, especially for popping up just something small. But for the purpose of like popping up bigger stuff, I was wanting some foam tape. So this was 30 bucks, it's not cheap, but it is a huge roll, so hopefully I like it. Um, okay, and then let's get into the ink. I'm just gonna, oh, and remember how I was complaining about masking tape on a previous video? I bought masking tape, or masking paper, sorry. Um, so it's 10 sheets, double-sided, and then I totally was like, you're so stupid, you should have just got the Eclipse masking tape that Kelly Taylor uses because she, I know she does a lot of ink blending, so I'm sure hers works great. Um, but anyway, you know, that's how it goes. Okay, so let's look at the colors I got. I got Industrial Diamond, Purple Wine, Emerald, Cosmic Berry, Rose Quartz, 
limestone, silverstone, puffy heart, volcano lake, lagoon, mountain mist, and pure graphite. And you can see there's a color theme. These actually were just in a bundle. So I just bought this whole bundle because I really like blues, I like pinks, and I like grays. So I was like, you know what, we'll just get this smaller bundle. If I like the inks, maybe I'll invest in getting some more of them. Um, where are my scissors? I just have them. Here they are. Let's, t let's open one and stamp with it and see how we like it. We'll use the puffy heart. Oh, oh, they screw off. Okay, and already I can see they are like, they are not the foam pad. They are the, um, what is that, what is that called? Like a textile. I don't know what it's called. Let me grab a, let me grab a stamp. I just need a quick stamp here, people. Okay, so I'm going to stamp, I'll use this just because it's got like a solid and... I want to see what it's like when it stamps solid. Let me get my Misty. Okay, so we'll use the mini Misty, my go-to, my go-to friend. Pop it in. All right, I love, I kind of love the size. Hmm. Friends, how are we feeling about this? It fits very nicely in your hand. Mm. Okay, I'm not so sure about the stamp, the, the stamping. You could definitely see the texture. Let's try again. Okay, that's better. That looks good. So it's better. Um, Let's see as it sits, because sometimes um, I remember, this is going to go over the top. Will it fit right here? Yeah. Okay. So I remember back when Stampin' Up! had ink pads that had the kind of like, whatever that texture is. Okay. That's better. And you can see as it sits, it kind of, these may be ink pads that I just use more for ink blending. Um, I don't love that there's so much check texture. So let's use a Concord and Ninth ink for comparison because Concord and Ninth has the foam pads. So what I'm starting to learn, let's talk about windy, windy learning things. What I'm starting to learn which is part of why I'm on this journey, by the way, for those of you that are interested. What I'm starting to learn is that foam pads have, do a better job. What is on my stamp? I have something on my stamp right there. Huh. Foam pads do a better job of stamping solid images like this one and these textured pads are good are there's a name for those and I cannot think of it so textured pads are really good for oh see the difference there is a difference like I can see little lines in this one from where I inked this this one's much more even um, let's do one more. Oh yeah. So they're different colors. So we should say that, I mean, not by much, but they are different colors. So you can see here the difference. So could I stamp with these? Yes. Will I? Sometimes I think so. Um, I think those are going to be great for ink blending though, putting your brush in and ink blending. And I noticed that no creators use distress inks for stamping. None. Of, I, I've not seen anybody do that. <laughs> like to stamp an image, they don't. 
they use different inks for that. So I think there's just a, place, a time and a place for everything. And so anyway, interesting. It's so fun to kind of do these comparisons. I did get the bundle that had all the ink refills because I figured why not? Like probably should have all those on hand. I also grabbed their obsidian pigment ink. Um, it says exceptionally crisp. So it's oil-based, detailed impression, waterproof. So uh, oil-based pigment is perfect for stamping extremely fine and detailed images. The rich black color dries quickly and does not fade. It is waterproof and works beautifully with watercolor and other water-based mediums. So you wouldn't want to use this with alcohol markers. But if you were watercoloring or you just want a nice pretty stamped, let's see how it stamps. I have the Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink, which is a hybrid ink, and it's good for watercoloring, and I think you can use it for watercoloring, and I know you can use it for alcohol markers, because that's what I use it for. So let's stamp a sentiment and see how this looks. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really good. Um, yeah, wow. That is very detailed, very fine. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'm not going to be quite so heavy handed. It's very inky. Yep. Wow. Fantastic. So because it is a pigment ink, I don't think it's going to just wipe off with this. Yeah, but um, wow, that's great. Yay, I'm super happy with the investment on that. Super happy. Cool. Okay, so um, in future videos, I will be showing you how to use these awesome lights to make these cool cards. We're gonna test out the Altenu masking paper for sure. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing around with lots of fun stuff. All right, well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I have a few more hauls coming um, from different stamp companies, but I didn't get them and I wanted to get this recorded so I could get it up for you on Saturday. So. That's it. I had fun at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. I hope that in the future I'm invited back to do make and takes and stuff like that again. And it was really, really fun. And I learned a lot and I got to know some really amazing people in the card making industry. And that was amazing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. Don't forget to go visit the links over on my blog for all the goodies you saw here today. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.